sure you are overlooking the BIOS when you are trying to achieve much smoother gameplay and higher frame rates. In this video, I will show you an AMD and Intel BIOS settings that will result in you having better performance. Now let's get into it. First, I will start off by showing you the performance gains. This is on the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. And at the very bottom is the before and the top is the after results. So as you can see, there's a ton of performance to gain from the BIOS. If you found that this video helped you out, I will highly recommend you checking out our UEFI tuner, which does just this, but changes over 300 settings within seconds. You can find this tool with a link in the description or at sticktweaks.com now. Now let's get into it. Simply join our Discord server with the link on the screen now. Scroll down to the Retweaks channel, and you'll see the AMD and Intel BIOS optimization guide. Simply download the SKU in folder, and then drag to your desktop. Right click. Press extract all, extract, and now you're good. Open up this folder, you're going to right click on the export.bat and press run as administrator. And if this pops up, press yes. Now this will extract all your bio settings, both hidden and visible settings. And now you should have created a bio settings.txt file. Simply double click to open this up and here are some of the things that we'll be changing. So I'm just going to put them up side by side, to make it easier for you guys. And at the very top here, these are 10 AMD settings and here are 10 Intel. So it doesn't matter what you are on, either Intel or AMD, the process is the same. But since I have an AMD, I'm just going to be doing the top list. So press Control F to search up settings, copy the setting name, paste it here. And if you have it, simply move this little asterisk from whatever it's at to disable like this. And then onto the next setting, C6 mode. As you can see, I don't have the setting. Yeah, that's fine. Just press OK and then move on to the next setting. Block power management. And it's right here. So then move that to disabled as well. Next is the ACP power gating and clock gating settings. So once you're here, again, move them to disabled or whatever I have here and repeat the steps for all of them. Okay, now that you've done that, just press on file and save, and you can close this out. And now we're almost done. Lastly, right click on this import.bat and then press run as administrator. Run, then give it a second. And it shows you at the very bottom script imported successfully. If that happens, then that's, that's great. You did everything correctly. For all these changes to take effect, you are required to restart your computer. Now, if your computer doesn't turn back on, close out this video and search up how to reset your CMOS battery and just follow those steps, and then you're good. If you have any questions or concerns about other settings, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try to respond to all of you guys. I want to thank you all for watching, and have an amazing day. Bye.